With me on Skype today from Capital Network, I've got Ricardo Lovi. Ricardo, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Ricardo, Vector, they've had uh, their preliminary results out recently for the year to the end of July. Pretty solid year for them. Talk us through some of the headlines here. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, they reported uh, earlier this week their preliminary results for the year uh, uh, to July 2018, and uh, it was a, a very sound set of results for both the therapeutic and the um, diagnostic and reagents programs. The uh, lead in house uh, uh, programs for cancer therapies are on track to produce the first in human data in the second half of 2020 or uh, early in 2021. And uh, we see an acceleration uh, of uh, the uh, development for the reagents platform towards the commercial uh, stage. And uh, of course, uh, this is also uh, being made possible by the fundraise that they have successfully completed over the summer. Ricardo, give us a bit more detail here. Firstly, where their main therapeutic programs are concerned. Talk us through some of the some of the developments and progress they've made here over the year. Yes, uh, so Avacta has uh, uh, one uh, main in-house therapeutic program that is. Uh, about uh, uh, cancer, immune oncology in particular. So they are developing a PDL1 inhibitor and also a bispecific PDL1 lag3 inhibitor, of which only a handful are being developed as a single molecule. And uh, here the development is going uh, according to plans. So we should see an IND filed uh, in 2019. Uh, and the first inhuman data towards uh, uh, in 2020 or early 2021, and this would be a, a key inflection point, I would say, because this uh, will be the first inhuman data from a Nafimer therapeutic product ever. So this will be an important boost uh, to uh, the uh, the program uh, valuation. And uh, at the same time, uh, early this year, Avacta has announced a partnership with uh, uh, Tuft University in the US for the development of uh, a novel uh, drug conjugate, still in uh, the uh, cancer domain, so in particular targeting the tumor microenvironment. And again, development is progressing well, so uh, we should see in vitro proof of concept data in 2019 and the first in vivo uh, efficacy data from animal models in 2020. And uh, there's a number of other collaborations that uh, Avacta is uh, uh, progressing with other partners like Moderna Therapeutics, uh, Oncosec and others. And they, they are all progressing well and they provide, in our view, uh, a good uh, risk diversification to their R&D portfolio. Very good and good and uh, strong progress towards commercializing their reagents platform too. Absolutely. And uh, uh, they also um, increasing the, the, the rate at which they are um, progressing their uh, reagents pipeline towards the market. They're not only going through uh, external evaluation as uh, it has been done thus far, because it's a, a quite uh, time consuming process. Uh, they're also developing an internal uh, pipeline of Afimer reagents uh, uh, readily available to be licensed out. Uh, so it could be an Afimer as a service kind of product. And uh, we shall see in the coming months and years uh, multiple uh, royalty bearing partnerships uh, announced by Avacta for uh, the reagents and, and diagnostic side of the business. Ricardo, what do you make of uh, Avacta's current valuation in comparison to its peers? So the current valu valuation is certainly uh, undemanding and uh, of course also reflects uh, the earlier stage of product development, Avacta's product development compared to uh, some peers like uh, Peeris and uh, Molecular Partners. But it gives you, uh, I mean, the, the, the market capitalization of those comparable companies around three, four hundred million dollars 
gives you a good benchmark of uh, where a VACT could be in two to three years time when their uh, prog product will have reached the same uh, stage of development, will be in clinical development. And uh, of course, this means that for an investor that is uh, already confident about the uh, strong scientific uh, rationale behind the Affimer technology and the preclinical evidence that has been produced uh, uh, so far, this could be a very attractive entry point because uh, Avacta currently has a market cap around 30, 35 million dollars. So the, the upside is clearly significant and uh, Besides the development uh, milestones that uh, we'll uh, be looking at in the next two to three years, uh, management is also uh, absolutely keen on uh, evaluating out licensing opportunities uh, already in the preclinical stage as well as in the clinical stage of development. Ricardo's full reports available on the Capital Network website and also by clicking on the I in the top right hand corner of your screen. Ricardo, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Andrew. Goodbye.